Oh no, it's a hit! A powerful hit! Hello everybody, my name's James. This is Fleet Battle. It is effectively inspired by Battleships, the game that you played as a kid probably, and I certainly played as a kid with my younger sister. I am playing the AI at the moment, but it is of course a multiplayer game. And one of our sponsors for this week, we always tell you up front in these vids when we got one because it's the right thing to do. Now, the way it works is super simple. Because of the touchscreen interface, you are just tapping, hey, magic, on the square grid and then working out where their ships might be. If you've never played the game before, you get presented with a series of one, two, three, four, five, six ships in total, and then you could choose where to arrange them on your own grid. Then your enemy has to guess where you've put your battleships and try and sink them all. Now, is it gonna be up or down? Let's go down. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. I have sunk the first battleship of his. He, unfortunately, has taken out two of mine. I'm playing the AI on normal mode, which is still they're pretty good. They seem to be pretty shrewd about where to pick stuff. But of course, there's a whole bunch of other modes available in the game. You've got like multiplayer, which is available online. You've got local pass and play and all that business. So it's fairly well equipped if you want to play with real humans. Now I've got three in a row there. That means it's gonna be one of those offset ones. If you look at the orange bar there above my grid on the left, you'll see tetronomos or tet tetron trominos, I think is how you pronounce it indicating what ships they have, which ones have been sunk, and which ones still remain. So you can see I've greyed out two of them, but there are four still on the table. He's taken out two of mine, and... Uh, oh, was nearly, nearly going to take out a third. Oh, I hate him very much. It's been updated in this kind of futuristic way for the game, but there are loads of ways you can tweak it to make it sort of suit your style. So, for example, they've got these sound packs that you can download, which change it from a modern style to a military style. I think I'm playing in military mode at the moment, which affects the general music of the game and the way that the voiceovers appear and all that kind of stuff. But you can just download them off of the back end of the menu if you want to. Yes, the second one now up or down. What do we do? We go up. Ah, nice. Nailed it. So that's... Oh, unfortunately, he's taken out two, three, oh, I've only got two left. He's got three left. It's not looking great for me. We'll probably fire up a multiplayer game online just after this to see. It's always tricky playing multiplayer games in these videos because you never know if the other player is going to suddenly rage quit or something, which kind of messes things up. Incidentally, that little atom symbol that you've seen me pick up there, that's a blueprint. Now, the idea is you can unlock additional ships by collecting blueprints over the course of the game. Left, ah, oh, should have gone right. Should have gone right. Here we go. I'll fix that now. Bosh. These little atoms give you, it's kind of like currency, I suppose, but you eventually collect enough for each ship and you can unlock new ones and then add them to your fleet and sort of switch them in and switch them out if you feel like it. Oh, no. The reason I like playing this one as a kid, it's very easy to pick up and play the physical game where you're actually putting pegs in because it's obviously inspired by the Hasbro Battleships game, and this is sort of a, effectively a digital interpretation of that kind of formula. I just realized I've got one dot up here I haven't, I haven't approached. Here we go, yes. Yes! There it is, just one more, right? One more? I've got to find the two dot. It's always that little two, two square ship which is left alive. Oh no, he's found my, my five peg. Oh, let's go here. Damn. With the game in general, it's always a mixture of luck and skill. So when you're dropping pegs at the very beginning, when you're hitting X's, you're just kind of randomly hoping to strike something. But the moment you strike something, that's the point where you have to go, right, which ship is it? And which direction should I go? Which orientation is the thing laid out in? Oh, no! 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 Defeated by the fairly decent AI. Oh, well. Got some experience. No medals, mind you. And I found a blueprint. So there you go. That's a blueprint uh, for one of the... I'm going to continue here. Uh, one of the other ships in the game. If I jump into the settings here, you can see... We've got options for changing the audio. Let's go and pick at the sound pack thing. So here you go. Classic, military, and retro. Got them in all different languages. Let's go retro. See what it sounds like. Let's go seriously 8-bit. You'll hear the music suddenly change around it and, and whatnot, which is kind of entertaining. And down here, this is the blueprints layout, so you can see the ships that I've got at the moment in my fleet. But also, you're able to unlock different ones. So if I was to go up here, you can see here a big old list of all the different blueprints for all the different countries, and the tweaks that you can make to them, the different types of model ships that you can get. 
So if you do fancy uh, expanding your roster a little bit, you have got the option there. Let's go and this is the way the kind of fleet is laid out and you can create your own ones if you've got additional ships from the blueprint. However, what I fancy doing is just having a quick game. Let's see if we can go online just, just quickly, a nice quick match. If we do get online and they don't drop out or anything, because it's happened to me before, uh, nothing I say, I hope, they just get a bit, you know, the kettle boils or something and they have to run away. You can also do in-game chat stuff as well if you want to, but we'll see if he actually uh, lasts for long enough. So let's go here, I'm going to tweak you around there, and I'm drag this. See, this is where you arrange where you want your ships to be for the game. Start. There we go. Lovely. And then if I pop down the bottom there, going to here, we go. Done. And I'm going to tap there. Oh, what? First strike. This is great. Now, it's an asynchronous game, so obviously we just wait for the opponent to take a turn. There they go, they've taken their turn. They're taking this seriously, I'm delighted to say. Keep going up. No. I've already got the jump on them. Let's see where they go. Oh, no, they struck. One, two. Uh, nope. Oh, Christ. So I've got their three and then an offset three, haven't I? So I'm going to say... Oh, they've already got one of my ships down. I've got a blueprint, but not their ship. <clears throat> Annoying. Ugh. There we go. Yes, now up or down, you guys. I should have gone up. Let's see what he does. Ah, you missed. I'm going to go up and up. Bam. Battleship sunk. Yes, I did. Okay, let's go here. I say, a lot of luck. And then once you get it, it's deduction. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> now, the thing I like about it is the turnovers are very quick. You can actually battle... Th battle through a game really, really quickly if you want to. Look at him! That's amazingly good luck! Uh, right, that's two down for him. No. Yeah, two down for him and two down for me as well, so we're on a level pegging. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Come on. Yes! No. Blueprint, though. I'll take it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're going to miss. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> so I've got two there. I think it's going to be... Mm, what is it going to be, actually? They've got, if I've got two left... So it's going to be up or down, isn't it? You just devastated me there. Okay, so we've got that one. So maybe that one, that one, that one. Oh, no. So I, I know where the next one is. You take your turn. Oh, no, he's hit. He's hit. Mm, don't do not do it. Yes, he missed. Fantastic. So that one's there. Brilliant. So now, one, two, three, four apiece. I've got to find his other two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in time. This is nightmarish. This guy's a petty officer second class, apparently. I'm just a straight-up seaman. No giggling at the back. So I should probably say the game is available on iPhone, iPad, and on Android as well. It's free to download. Um, I'm playing the ad-free version at the moment, which you can unlock via an in-app purchase if you want to. Let's go up. Oh, yes. Let's go up again. No. So this is going to be a straight line all the way down. Brilliant. And now just one more. Let's go here. No. We're going to get this guy. It's super close. We've got to get him. Here we go, got into the flow of the game now. We're doing that straight up rhythm. Nope. I'm looking for, it has to be a massive long stretch, this ship. So far left, yes, yes, yes. Oh, next two shots, he's down, he's down. One, two, booyah. I sunk your battleship, have that, will you? victory for me, a promotion to Petty Officer Third Class, uh, and I think that'll do <laughs> for this one. Thank you all for watching. You can join us next time, and go and check out the game via the links below. Love you lot. Bye-bye.